Hello, Lilas. <laughs> so I'm back with baby Jonah. I don't think you guys seen him in a couple weeks if you're not following me on Facebook and Instagram. I am going to have to do a slideshow and show some of his updated photographs because I photograph him quite often, actually. Um, Jonah, Jonah is the Clark um, sculpt by uh, Samantha Gregory and he was painted by myself. Um, I don't know what I did with his other sock. Um, but he is my favorite baby to date um, as far as my personal babies go. And he actually, I actually spent a lot of time with Jonah. Um, I recently reweighted him and again, I'm feeling I, I still don't quite like the way he's weighted. So I'm probably going to reweight him again. Um, waiting for me is so important. Like, I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking like his, maybe I didn't weight his head as heavy. But I'm, I'd, I want to get the body right, the feel of his body right, um, more so. Um, because he's going to have to go get rooted. So... It makes no sense for me to worry about his head right now. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, it's hard for me to take him apart. Um, I used to be like that with uh, Paris, me and more. I could not take her apart. It took me years before the first time I ever took her apart because I wanted to put her on a full limb body, um, full leg body. And um, she was... Paris originally is three, four arms and legs, but I wanted to put her in a full limb and a um, ethnic body, and I. It took me years before I could actually do it. Um, some some of the dolls, you know, I like they're cute and I like to look at them and I love them and blah 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 and I get the ooh ah feeling, but some of them, I feel very much like they are just. They're just so realistic to me to, I don't know, it's just it's just a different feeling. I, I call them comfort babies because they make you feel good when you look at them or when you hold them. So I don't, those are the ones that give me a hard time taking them apart or seeing them, you know, you know, taken apart like that. So Jonah is one of those babies. Um, the funny thing is, is that as as much as I love him, and I took my time painting him, and it's so funny because I did a lot with playing with his color, um, and I did achieve the realism in his skin tone that I wanted. Um, he still may have, he still have, you know, flaws here and there. Like, you know, I feel like every baby's gonna have some type of flaw, what somebody might call a flaw. I don't know. Um... But he is, he definitely um, came out to my liking. Like, I even love, you know when you love a baby so much to where I even love the, the nose color, inside his nose, the color that I painted him. But I, sometimes I feel guilty about uh, raving about dolls that I actually painted myself because I don't want to come across as being um, arrogant or cocky but um so i'll rant and rave about other people work but usually not my own but this one i really love and it's funny because to be honest um his face don't have the true depth depth to him that my other babies normally have it's all in his skin tone i believe that that's got me and the sculpting the sculpting for sure um, I want to paint this this kid again, so I, I have put out a filler. I have contacted someone that might have one, and I'm going to paint it again. Um, it's going to be a, a Jonah 2.0. <laughs> so I am going to paint this kid again. And, um, and, and see what I can do with it a second time around. I always like to challenge myself to do better. The second time around so it's gonna be interesting because i really really love him 
Um, I really worked hard on certain things that I was practicing with him. And that's the thing, when you paint, when you paint and you paint for yourself and you, um, you work on babies that's for yourself, you're, you're more free because if something don't come out right, you don't have to worry about, you know, disappointing anyone. I bought him some little outfits when he first came. And this one looked like it might be a little big, but I don't know. Um, it's zero to three months. But we're going to try to put it on him anyway. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I just, like I said, I, some of some of my babies, I've, I, I go in buying knowing that I'm not planning on selling them. And this sculpt, when I saw this sculpt at the doll show last year, I knew that this one was for me. Let me take his hat off. See, he have a little ball, baby. Yeah, I just, I said, this, this is my baby. And um, we don't get many, you know, different faces anymore. We don't get, you know, that rare, true limited edition um anymore and so when you find a sculpt that's you know older sculpt or edition true edition it's it's very uh it's like it's, it's a very special thing <laughs> so like i said if i could get a hold of the one if the other artist sell me hers um i will be forever grateful and that one as well will stay in my edition as well um he will probably just be a twin and i'll probably do twin boy i don't know if i could he might do okay as a girl i haven't even tried to see him as a girl but i'll just have a twin i'm into this twin thing since i'm gonna be a grandmother of twins now i guess i should practice two of everything and um, it's going to be a good thing for my daughter and it's going to be a good thing for me because she'll get to get all the baby clothes and I'll get to get them all back <laughs> if they don't mess them up. I better get with my grandmother and ask her how to get those uh, throw up stains out. You know how the throw up stains turn the clothes yellow? The only person I know that know how to get them out and make the clothes look like brand new is my grandmother. Um, true story, very short. Um, when I was pregnant with my first daughter, my grandmother has this best friend. They've been friends for, um, her name is Lillian, actually. And Miss Lillian and her have been friends since they were little girls. And, um, when I was pregnant, Miss Lillian used to walk all the time. And long story short, she found this one lady threw out a whole bunch of baby clothes into the, the, the dumpster. I guess in a garbage bag and she went in and got them and she took them to my grandmother for me and she says oh I know that she's expecting and you know I don't know if you want them and all this and stuff and she's and she says Kate these I think they're really nice clothes and they were all the person had folded them up and put them in the garbage bag so my grandmother took all the clothes and she did all the stains and she so she really cleaned them, cleaned them, and then she went back over it and washed them in, you know, the baby powder, the dress. And um, so then, and then she folded them all up, and she brought them with a whole bunch of onesies, whole bunch of white t-shirts. I guess, you know, because they were staying, the mommy was like, nobody's gonna want these type thing. So for probably the first six months or a year. I never bought any onesies, any anything like that. All she wore those she wore those things first because they were the smallest and she she wore those things. My my grandmother really and I mean they looked like they were fresh out the pack out the store. They were crisp white. Um the quality of them wasn't gone or anything. You know that just like they don't make dolls anymore. Um, the, I mean, not dolls. They don't make certain clothes the way they used to. They don't make, you know, there's a lot of stuff. The quality and things have changed. They don't make grandmas like they used to either. You know, we have all these young grandmas now. 
and grandmas don't sit and soak things out and you know soak clothes and get stains out and you know grandmas don't you know make that favorite soup or you know I remember I got the chicken pox and my grandmother literally put me in the bathtub with real oatmeal come on these new grandmas ain't putting you in no bathtub with no oatmeal it's like oh my god you know I remember my grandfather going to get plants and squeezing stuff on your you get a cut and rub that on there I did you gotta drink this catnip soup or tea or something I don't know all this old crazy stuff you know grandmas don't do that anymore like you don't you don't hear those stories anymore unless it's somebody you know my age and up the young grandmas don't they're not like that they don't you know they don't know about the natural remedies and you know you could I could go to my grandmother about anything honey when I say anything and she will tell me honey you can do this and you can do that and you need to do this and don't ever do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he needs on a hat, but nothing's going to quite match, but maybe I'll just put him on the red anyway. Because I don't want to put him on the blue because it's too much blue. I think that's too much blue, so I'm going to put him on his red hat. It's cold. It's very cold now and he needs to be he needs to say I need to be warm mama I love him so much like for real but yeah so I don't know what kind of grandma I'm gonna be but I definitely know I'll probably be a little fussy one like cover that baby head up you know put the baby socks on don't walk away with that baby not covered up blah, blah, blah. I can see me now um, it's kind of getting interesting we still don't know the gender yet um, but yeah so this is my Jonah and like I said, I, I really, he is really my favorite. I don't know what it is. Like I said, it's like, but I just love him. I, I do. I love the way I painted him. I love, I just love everything. I love, I love the way the color of his hands are because they're not white, white, but they're, you know, they look so realistic, the color of the feet and the hands. So I want to do it over again and I want to do some things different um this time around I want to take my time like I did with him because I took a long time painting him and um I want to do it again but anyway this is Jonah so now I have a collection of Jonah, Katie Lou, Hannah Hunter, Noah Puck, Emmanuel you guys haven't met Emmanuel. You guys have to meet Emmanuel on camera. Um, Emmanuel might be a baby to actually leave. Um, I told that little, a little snippet of that story in the chat box. Um, but I'll tell you guys too. Just um, I just need time to get another video out. But um, yeah. See, he just makes you just want to rock him. He, he just looks so peaceful and just so sweet. And he just... Like he, you know, he he sucks his tongue, and you guys know how much I love my babies. They always be droolers, and and they talk with lisp and all that stuff, and you know, he um, you know, when my babies, the babies that I've had, leave the nursery, I think about them from time to time, and I see in my imagination, I'm like, oh well. She's probably talking now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I never think that. But um, that would be funny. Like if the other mom would carry on the same personality that the baby had with me. But he, um, that is, that's something else. That's funny. You know, we give these babies personalities. But when they leave us, they they have a whole nother personality, I guess. But he, um, he's definitely, he definitely sucks his tongue. You can see that he's sucking his tongue. And he's definitely going to talk with a lisp. And I usually keep him on a bib because he do drool a lot too. I, I like him with a pacifier, but he doesn't have to have one. And that's, that's a good thing. Some babies have to have a pacifier. So, especially if they have an open mouth, it bothers me. But not, not this one. Nope. So, him and um, Hannah 
their open mouths are perfect. It doesn't look, it looks very natural. Very natural. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you are subscribed. If not, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, Jonah. Give me kissy. I, I usually kiss my babies on the forehead, but him, you want to kiss his nose. He has the perfect nose. Look, I just want to show. Let me see if I can show you guys his nose. He has, like, the perfect little nose. Look at that nosy. You don't have the perfect little nose. <laughs> oh my goodness I love this baby for real